Hey guys, HB here and welcome back to another hot books review. The weather in New York has been quite cold lately, so I made myself some hot chocolate. <laughs> For today's book review, this is actually my favorite book in the trilogy and it is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. I am absolutely obsessed with the series. It is so good. I think I finished reading the series in the beginning of 2021. I also recommended it to a friend because I really needed to talk about it with someone and she actually liked it so maybe you guys will as well. The first thing we always talk about is the cover design and I'm going to be giving this a 4 out of 5. I like how the red overlaps with certain letters and in the word coil, the eye is like a DNA symbol which actually fits a lot with the plots. So I love that little small detail and I actually really like this because all of the books look really good together. They all look very different but unique so I'm a big fan of them. Now the plot. There is a lot going on in this book like a lot and while I was reading some people's reviews they didn't like the fact that there are so many things going on. The book is about a girl named Katarina. In the world that she lives in everyone is born with a panel in their arm that can be recoded to defeat diseases, infections, and also have like really cool technology that you can use on a daily basis but there is currently no cure for the dangerous plague that is going around. We soon made a blackout soldier named Cole who was programmed through his panel to protect and keep Katarina safe. Not long after meeting Cole she finds out that her dad who is a genius scientist actually found a cure for this dangerous plague. As she tries to unravel the clues that her dad left behind she gets herself involved with a very shady business and ends up unlocking huge secrets that literally changes everything. The world build is so interesting and if you're scared to read it because it is sci-fi literally don't be. The author does an amazing job explaining to you how all the technology works. I was absolutely in love with it and my favorite part of the whole book was the amount of plot twists there were oh my gosh i was so mind blown by the end of the book i was so on edge it was so intense there's so much action going on so much things happening the book does get kind of graphic at some points and there was a moment where i legit had to put the book down because i was so nauseous and i felt it happening to me like i got chills that's when i realized that i was so sucked in and wrapped up with everything that was going on but that's how good it was the plot is 100 five out of five for me next we got our the characters which i'll be giving a five out of five i love katarina obsessed with this girl she is the prime example of a badass female girl is first off a genius the way that she can hack into people's panels and even her own oh my gosh this girl mind blows me she's so smart so cool so badass and i love cole he has my heart oh my gosh he is definitely hands down one of my favorite book boyfriends that i have like i'm very aware that he's programmed to protect katarina but i feel like even without the whole protective protocol into him he will protect her no matter what he's oh my gosh i love this band i love them they're so cute together we also meet another guy named leo ben i think that's how you say his name i just call him lee he's also very likable but let's be real here when a book involves scientists like the maze runner for example majority of the people that you meet are going to be very suspicious and those characters like yes i have mixed opinions about them because of the role they play but they're also well written that you just don't know what side they belong to like are they a good guy are they a bad guy? Are they going to betray the main character? Are they going to do something else? Are they actually protecting the main character? Like, what are they doing? I think she just does a really amazing job making you feel emotions for these characters, even though they're maybe not the main. And last but not least, we have the overall review, which I'm going to be giving a 10 out of 10. If I can give it a more score, I definitely would. But for the sake of the video, and for the sake of my editing, we are going to be doing 10 out of 10. This book is so amazing. And if you like books that are fast paced, action packed, literally so many plot twists, then you have to pick this book up. Like, it's so good and I'm going to be doing a spoiler review for it because there's just so much that happened that I can't be the only one who needs to vent out their emotions and talk about what went down because it is quite a doozy. So yeah, so that was it for this video. It is a three book series and it is complete so you can immediately jump into the next one which um, I'm telling you, you are going to want to jump into the next one immediately. If you read the book and you have no one to talk about it with, then jump into the next one, which is definitely going to be a spoiler review for this book. I will admit though, in my opinion, this was the best one out of the series. Not saying it gets bad in the second and third one. I was just more thrown off with what happened and I'm not a big fan of what happened. I think what went down in the second book really made me feel a certain type of way, but it was still good. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to read some of them and I'll see you guys next time with HB. Bye! Take it to the code!